welcome to day 10 of the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. We've got sitting volleyball action to look forward to from Rio Centro Pavilion 6. Well, the crowd are getting warmed up, so are the players, and we're almost ready to start this match, which will see China versus the USA in the gold medal match. Well, this is how both teams made it through to the finals. The US beating Brazil and China beating Ukraine in the semi-finals. China are quite simply the world number one. Undefeated to make it all the way through to the final. They dropped only two sets. And we were against the US when they met in the pool stages. US won three out of four matches that they've played. Their only defeat was against China in the pool stages, but they're back right now to prove a point. And there we can see the second line down, People's Republic of China. It was 2-3, it was a loss. So China have the upper hand as we go into this final. You can see there, clean sweep of wins for China in their run through. So the players out on court and they're going to line up now to listen to the national anthems. Ladies and gentlemen, the anthem of the People's Republic of China. Senhoras e senhores, o hino da República Popular da China. The anthem of the United States of America. E agora o hino dos Estados Unidos da América. So with the anthems over, the players will make their way back to the sidelines, back to the bench. There'll be a few more words of wisdom from the coaches and words of encouragement from within the team on both sides. And then we will get to meet the players who are going to start this match. Before we meet the players, though, we will meet the referees. China, in your picture, have won every 
Paralympic gold medal that has been on offer to date. 2004, 2008 and London 2012. They're looking for four gold medals in a row. This match is a repeat of the London 2012 final. The USA hoping to go one better. And if the pool game is anything to go by, certainly the USA will feel they have a real chance. They lost that one 15-13 in the decider. It was close. A 28-26 set thrown into the mix as well. And they certainly will be believing this USA team that they, they can get the job done. They can upset the form book. They can take gold. There will be a little bit of pressure on China knowing just how close they were to potentially losing a match at a Paralympic Games. Time then to meet the referees. So the first referee is Jung Mal Soon from Korea. And the second referee from Germany is Kirsten Cohen. And the second referee from Germany, Kirsten Cohen. So the referee's in position, and, uh, and it's time then to meet the teams. We're going to start with China. So coming out onto court first will be number seven, number five, Su Ilime. She'll be starting at position two. Number seven, Wang Yanan, will be starting at position six. Number nine, Zhang Shufei will be at position three. Number 11, Zhang Li Jun will be starting at one. Number 12, Sheng Yu Hong will be at position four. And number 13, Xiao Mei Ling will be at position five. The Libro is number six, Gong Bin. She's the defensive specialist wearing the different colored jersey. Head coach is Zhang Jun. Right onto court, time to meet the USA. So it'll be Laurie Webster coming out wearing the number one shirt. Laura Webster, she's a middle blocker. We'll be starting at position three. Katie Holloway, number five, an outside hitter starting at two. Number six, the captain, Heather Erickson, is an outside hitter. She'll start at position four. Number seven, Monique Birkland, is a middle blocker by definition. She'll be starting at position five. Number 14. Kaleo Kanahale is the setter, just 20 years of age. She'll be starting at position one. And number 16, Nikki Neves is another middle blocker, but being used for a height and will be playing slightly out of position on occasion. Bethany Zumo, number two, is a Libro. That's the team that Bill Hameter, the head coach, has decided can get the job done here. A guaranteed medal for both these teams, but who will be taking gold? Who will be top of the podium? five sets the best of to decide that and find out exactly who will be the 2016 Paralympic City volleyball champions second referee checking the lineups making sure everything's as it should be so the libero can go in captain on court for China is number 12 Sheng Yu Hong because the uh, captain for the team Liu Hongqing is on the bench. Well, China playing in red, the USA in blue, and it's USA to serve with Kanahali. This is the gold medal match from the women's sitting volleyball at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. And it's first point to the US. Nice start for the USA, normally easier to side out to score a point from Sir, but an unforced error from China. USA won nothing up. Kanahale serves again. Double touch, that'll be against China. Not a good ball in. China struggling to make a set. Sulime it was with the error.
Well, a big spike attempt. It's kept in play by China. And this time, Holloway finds the court on the other side of the net. The US taking a three-point lead very early on in this opening set. Kind of highly to serve. Block out for China. Nice work by China. Sulime getting the block out. Now she goes back to serve. That's an easy lead for the USA as they're trying to pick on Ericsson. So Holloway for the US. And any part of the body can be used. In sitting volleyball, an attempt there to keep it in play with a foot, didn't come off. Shangli Jun hit that so hard, it came in the net, came back out too quickly for anyone to get onto it. Big spike. Zhao Mei Ling. Well, brings China back to within three. So they took their hands away, but it didn't matter because the ball had landed in court anyway. Zhang Zhufei to serve. Good work from Ken Harley going quick to the middle to Birkeland. Block was late to react for China. So Webster with her first service of the game. A nice block by Neves of the US. Big celebrations I think we're going to see on every point. Well, they'll want to emphasize the fact that they've taken the point. And make sure China know there'll be plenty of uh, vocals both sides of the net when points are won. This is a brilliant start for the USA. Five points up. I'm not sure they would have expected this to be the case. And they certainly know that China are more than capable of coming back as they have done with that side out. This time the ball is put away nicely by Sheng Yuhong. Sheng Yuhong will serve. Oh, nicely kept in by Holloway. Well, a suspicion of lifting, but the referee's letting it go. Perhaps it was an extreme play. And look at that, the USA take the point and at the technical timeout, leading 8-3 as Neves gets that ball down in front of China's defence. Ericsson to serve, 8-3. Brilliant pickup. Point being given 
to the US for lifting against China. Well, that's all down to the exceptional work of Bethany Zumo earlier in the round to keep the ball in play. And then as China went to have the attack, it was an illegal one. This time, Kanahale was a little bit away from the net with her hands, and as the ball hit her, it went down her own side. Xiaomei Ling to serve. Well, there's the spike that the US have been looking for. We've got a commanding lead here in the opening set, 10-4. Kenahale combining brilliantly with Monique Birkland. And it is Birkland to serve. That's a great dig. Ball has been signalled out on the short line and now on the long line as well. And China asking for a touch, not being given. What does the slow mo say? I think that slow mo tells us the ball was actually in. So China call a timeout. They're feeling a little hard done by at the moment. But this is brilliant play from the United States, leading 11-4. Four. Birkeland to serve. China again asking for a touch, and it's been given this time. Well, initially everyone said it was out. The ball certainly did go out. Just caught somebody on the way. Just caught some hands in the block so the USA can go again. And that's a really good put away this time from uh, Katie Holloway. Webster comes into the front row and Zumo goes off. Neves back to serve. The USA are putting a block up, and what they're doing is they're waiting, and then they're going to go late and put a block up to try and stop them going for block out. And at times they're taking their hands away as well when they feel there's a block out coming. So they're really mixing up what they're doing at the moment, and as a result of that, China coming up with quite a few unforced errors from spiking. Again, Kanahale went up, took her hands away, and they're looking for those hands, missing and going with the errors. This is really good work. Watch Kanahale, takes her hands out of the way, the ball goes long, really nice point as a result of that. Interesting tactics being employed by the USA. This time China leaving the ball go. Beyond the baseline, Neves' serve is out. Good communication from China as that ball was uh, aiming for the baseline. Neves a little bit too strong. Neves has gone out now, replaced by Zumo. Well, the errors are coming thick and fast from the USA. Those of you wondering what's the point of having a libero on court in sitting volleyball, well, we've just got a good example of that out-of-system setting 
is something that uh, Zumo is going to be doing a lot of, making sure that the ball is up for someone to have a swing from that uh, her back row positions. Big hard hit from the USA. The Ericsson, the captain, leading by example. Look at this, a 10-point lead as we head into the second technical timeout. This is brilliant. This is unheard of. Great set, brilliant swing. The USA are in control of this first set. So, with a 10 point lead at 16 6, can a Harley to serve? Brilliant recovery by Ericsson. China have to go again. Good up by Zumo, but it's going to be lifting against the USA. A carry called, in fact as that ball was played, which seemed a little harsh, it like an extreme defence. But if you're off balance when you're doing that, the referees are likely to penalise you. And the spike is great. Ericsson absolutely executed there. It's getting better and better here. There's nothing that China can do at the moment. You get the feeling that they're going to resign this set to the USA and look to see if they can uh, come back in the second set. But I'm pretty sure it's Holloway serving. The US, US, United States of America are not going to allow that to happen, at least try not to anyway. China need to get some momentum if they can. A run of points would help. Ball is good. That's in for China. That's the start they need. The captain on court, Sheng Yuhong, getting across, making an excellent block. One thing we're not seeing from the Chinese is, is them getting flustered. They still seem very calm, focused and together, and that's a sign of a really strong team. Good up by Holloway. Free ball over by Kanahale. That one didn't catch the block as it went wide. So it'll be a point for China. Nice ball for Ericsson, but it goes past the block, rolls along the net. China's point. That's a lovely pass from Zumo. And a brilliant A quick from the United States. Zumo under real pressure from that pass, but popped it up perfectly for Kanahale to find Berkland. The reactions really are electric. The speed at which they're responding. Webster to serve. China trying to get block out, Nicky Neves denying them. China just left wanting in this first set. Webster. Coach for China's got an interesting dilemma, Zhang Jun. Does he take off his players here and say, right, come off, this set's gone, let's bring the bench on? 
let you guys refocus and come back in, or does he do what he's doing in a minute, which is keep them on, but they are not performing. That's for a serve from Sheng Yuhong. It's certainly not of the quality that we have been witnessing over the course of this Paralympic Games. Everything is going right for the USA. Heather Erickson playing deep six, getting across to that ball and sending it back over and in court. Nice spike from, the, from China, absolutely finding the centre of the court where there's no defence. It's a good disguise from China. The USA had started to defend deeper and deeper, so the roll shot working. And they left it, the ball's gone long. That's an excellent lead from Sumo working with Berkman, just making sure that uh, they didn't pass that ball. They knew immediately it was going long. 23-11, Birkeland to serve. Well, the ball's gone into the antenna from China, and it's now set point for the USA. This is brilliant. Well, they were looking for hands, didn't find them. So set point saved by China. Still a really good position for the USA here. They have a whole bunch of set points to play with. Well, there is the first set to the USA. They take the lead, one set to nothing, 25 points to 12. Well, it's the perfect start for the USA, buoyed on by their fans. This is how it was done. Nice ball in, Kanahale goes over on two, and that's the set wrapped up. Confirmation of that first set score, 25-12 to the United States of America over the People's Republic of China. Well, here are the first set statistics. The United States making three blocks, none for China. And the USA also with uh, an ace. China's service errors costing them. Court announcers here at Rio Centro 6 have done sterling work throughout this competition to keep the fans engaged and keep them entertained when the players have been taking a break between sets and between matches. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable place to be. 
So plenty of noise from the fans as we're about to get this second set underway. Zhang Lijun for China to serve to get the second set underway. The USA currently leading by one set to nothing and one point to nothing. No changes from the USA, they've just gone around one position. It's the same starting six that started the match. China starting in exactly the same positions as they did from set one. And the USA continuing on from set one with their players. Well, lovely blocking from Webster. Big spike from China, but it's gone out. Again, USA showing a block, then taking the hands away. China not sure quite what to do with that at the moment. Good up by Zumo. Clever from Ericsson, just kept the ball in play. And she's allowed her blockers to do the work. Holloway and Webster denying China again. Look at that, 4-0. China called the timeout. Well, it was evident from the way the uh, head coach Chang Jun was communicating with his team. He's not happy with the way they're playing at the moment. But you have to credit the USA with the way they're playing and they're imposing their game on China. They're serving brilliantly, they're blocking brilliantly, and when they're getting their chances to spike, they're taking them. And it's that serving pressure again that's causing problems. Great work by Kanahali off the back of the timeout. The USA now 5 nothing up. Well, the ball's long, and would you believe it, 6-0 in the second set. Kanahale is running the show here for the United States. Great serving, she's getting into some super positions as well to set. And China now making a change, so out goes Sheng Yuhong and in comes Zhu Zhi. China need to make some changes if they're going to get back into this match. This is certainly not the start we expected from the triple Paralympic champions. Well, that's well left from China. Ball's gone wide.
Well, this time the US leave the ball. China trying to make something happen, cutting the ball across the body, not finding any hands, well left by Zumo. And that sends Holloway now back to serve. Well, a couple of great touches from Holloway to keep that ball in play. And unfortunately for Zumo, trying to go with a pancake, sliding her hand under the ball. Just not quite quick enough, so it didn't bounce up. Well left from the US. Technical timeout. USA leading 8-2. They're in dreamland at the moment. Webster to serve at 8-2. Point being given to the US for a net touch. Nothing going right for China at the moment. Playing the ball, following through, touching the top of the net, well spotted by the referee. Webster with the serve. Spike from Birkeland. Trying to find that cross court angle, just put a little bit too much on it. In fact, it just caught the net, which is why it ended up going long. The USA serving's been really good so far, going and pushing China very deep. Lovely dig. Equally good dig from Zumo, and the speed at which Kanahale got in to be able to set that ball and allow Ericsson to have the big swing. It's been the difference between these two teams. China looking very slow in comparison. Well, this time the spike is in. China did not know where that ball was going. They were trying to stop Neves, and the block was late getting out wide. And it's a nice put away from Monique Birkeland. Ericsson to serve. At last, China have got a block out. First time in a long time they've been able to do that. Lovely dig from China, but it's gone out. That's Point goes to the US. Massive swing from Nicky Neves. Plenty of weight behind the ball. And a 
as that compressed down onto the arms of China, unable to take the energy out of the ball, which is why it went out over the baseline. Birkland to serve. Oh, nicely disguised. I think China were expecting something a bit harder. Again, Kanahale lovely set out wide to allow uh, Holloway the option of tipping the ball or hitting it. And again, what a set that was from Kanahale. A quick ball out to Holloway, didn't have to move, able to go block out. Ball touches the antenna and China take another point. They've had a carry given against uh, China as a result. And it's another 10-point lead here for the USA. They engineered a 10-point lead in the first set. They've done it again here. Now it's an 11-point lead. Kanahale again at the net, taking her hands away. Nothing for China to go block out with. This is incredible. Right now they have their tactics spot on. They are looking in tremendous form. Nine from 48 spikes for China. Well, the one thing that the USA don't want to do here is just get carried away if, if they can help it and just stay focused, just keep doing what they're doing here. It's all going brilliantly. And as we head into the second technical timeout, the United States 16-4 up. USA are up by one set and by 16 points to four in the second. Birkeland to serve. Well, China claiming the ball was in, the referee says out, the lines judge says out. They're usually pinpoint accurate China with their spiking. But this pressure they're being put under by the serving of the USA really is causing them a few problems. This time the ball has been called out. China are celebrating the point. Wang Yanan at the service. Number seven for China. Wang Yanan to serve. Well left by the US, and that takes them to 18-5. You can just see the pressure that is on China here because they're making errors, they're making simple errors, errors we wouldn't normally see them making because they're, they're chasing this game and they're chasing this set and they're trying things they wouldn't normally do. And there's great communication by the US players. That communication isn't really happening from the Chinese team at the moment. Reactions from Holloway. Lovely dig. Nice up by Neves. This time, the USA tried to get out of the way. But it doesn't matter because the ball is put on the floor very nicely by Susan Lime. It did look like it caught the antenna. But it's off the net and in, so it's a point for... China. Yes, yes. 
Well, unable to keep the ball in play. China saw the opening at the back of the court. Kanahale tried to go over on two. And Ericsson and Co just in a little bit too close covering. Lovely spike from China. And this is more like we've been used to seeing. Xu Ji with an excellent swing. Shang Lijun serving again. Still, though, it's a 10 point margin. The ball is out. Point to China. USA will not be panicking here. Although saying that a timeout's been called because of the three point run, but they're still nine points ahead. Amateur just wanting to calm things down for a moment. the block Webster executed brilliantly Kanahale's had some good serving runs in this match so far the USA with six blocks so far none for China that'll be a double touch China be pleased that that serving run has Ended very quickly. And they're off that rotation. Sulemai to serve at 10 19. That's Kitty Holloway for the United States. Holloway, Holloway with another big swing. She's having an excellent match so far as Holloway. She's won seven points. She's the leading point scorer for the United States in the match. But it's a good spread, actually. Birkeland has five. Ericsson with three, Neves with four, Kanahale with three, and Webster with two. Nice dig, can Zumo get to it? Excellent play from the United States. Well, they had to win that point. They worked so hard to put themselves in the position to take it. Sumo, magnificent. And then look at that for a spike from Monique Birkeland. Substitution has been reversed now. Sheng Yu Hong has come back in. And Xu Qi goes to the bench. side out but their points are a few and far between at the moment for them and they're only side out points not enough points being won from the service line Zhang Zhufei to serve net touch given against China Webster will go back to serve Birkeland making sure the ball didn't come over anyway Webster. Just looking at uh, Hamita for serving instruction. Oh 
Spike is good. Ericsson with a nice high ball out to Birkland, who was able to open up her shoulders and really get through the ball, find the gap in the block in the process. Deep breath from Webster. She focuses on the serve. Well, that's an interesting call because the referee's called a carry against the USA, but that reverse set from China was a double touch. Did they get away with that. The USA, though, not overly bothered as they only need two more points for a 2 0 lead here in this gold medal match. Sheng Yu Hong. Make that one. They have one of them indeed. Brilliant swing. Ericsson, the captain, leading by example, putting that ball away from position two. And she goes back to serve now. And just as they were in the first set, a whole host of set points to play with. Well, tremendous play. The US take the second set. They take the lead. Two sets to nothing. 25 to 12. Well, incredible scenes here, looking at this scoreline, 25-12, 25-12. Nobody would have expected that at the start of this match, and probably not even the United States of America, but they'll take it, they have taken it. They are 2 nothing up, they are one set away from taking the gold medal here in Rio Centro. Here are the match statistics so far. Six blocks to zero two aces and only three service faults a magnificent display here are the highlights from the match so far So the USA deserve to get the third set underway. They currently lead by two sets to nothing. It's kind of highly to serve. 
Well, the first point in the third set goes to China. Su Limei to serve. Lovely block at the net by Webster. Levels the scores. Holloway. The ball is in. There's a lovely cross court play by the US. Just inside the sideline. Blocked by China is good this time. Two apiece. Zhang Zhufei. Ball was in. The first chi time China go into the lead in this set. It is a must-win set for them. They need to start brightly. And they're doing just that. Uh, the point being given to the US for lifting against China. Webster to serve. Well, big celebrations from the US. The ball falls just the right side of the net for them. They level the score now at 4 4. Ball is long, and the point to the US. They now take the lead in this third set. This might begin to be a worry for China already. From 4-2 up to 5-4 down, Webster with the serve. China having never lost a match at a Paralympic sitting volleyball event since 2004. They beat the USA 3-2 earlier on in this tournament in pool play. The only two sets they dropped only set they dropped in London 2012 was in the final to the USA when they beat them 3-1. This would be some victory, wouldn't it, for the USA if they could get this done 3-0. And they're going about it the right way. Webster with a brilliant serve, dropping that short in front of China's passing unit. Confusion between the passing unit, Su Limei and Gong Bin. And it's China who call a timeout. 7-4 down. So 7-4, Webster to serve. <laughs> Block out given to China. That's what they've been looking for. 
Number 11 on. That's Zhang Lijun. Number six off. Spike from Birkeland. That's the first technical timeout. Nice work from the USA getting that ball away cross court to have the lead. Not as big as lead as they have had in previous technical timeouts, but they'll take it 8 5 up and leading by two sets to nothing. Good up from uh, Kanahele, and the USA still keeping all, oh, but that's going to be called as being over. So the ball deemed to be on the side of China, and Kanahele also with her hands over the net. Well, actually, when she made contact with that, her hand was on her own side. The ball's then gone away, and her hands come forward, but it wasn't in contact with the ball. Referee's very harsh, very strict on that rule. China not doing themselves any favours here at the moment with their unforced error rate. Too many missed serves. The USA know this is going to be close. They know that China have to come back at them. And the USA's mindset is going to be one of, well, we can deal with that. Let's keep going. And this is what they should expect, the ability for China to get side outs off the back of the USA serving. That time, Kanahale keeping her hands up, but not strong enough to stop the ball coming over. Wang Yanan to serve. That was good play. Kanahale going to Birkeland in the back row. got good space then in front of a good time to see what the blocks doing them pick a spot to go off of the hands as Neves gets ready to serve block is good from the US takes them to 11 7 four point gap China just seemed to be all over the place with that last play. No real kind of game plan about what they're doing. That ball set out to position five for a spike, which was unexpected. And again, the block by Holloway. Well, the front row combining brilliantly. Holloway and uh, Webster and Kanahale making sure the ball didn't come back. And it's another timeout for China. USA leading 
leaves to serve. There's a joust at the net. Oh, change in mind from the referee. Well, I thought the referee was going to blow for a let here. So it's given that as a net touch against China in the end. The ball was, I guess it was still moving enough for it not to have been held, for it to have been called as a replay. So Neves gets to serve again. And once again, the USA are beginning to build a big lead. And they're fighting for everything, the USA. Nothing is hitting the ball. That's brilliant from Neves. But if you ever wanted to see a point that sums up the way that the USA are dominating this match and the way they are approaching this match, that was the point. They really are giving their absolute all to every single point. Needs to serve again. Well, that, should, that pretty much sums it up. USA, 12 blocks to China's one. Make that 13. This is just incredible. It's just that sheer... I think after that 3-2 loss earlier on in this tournament, the USA really had that belief. They felt hard done by that they hadn't got themselves over the line going down 15-13. They've come out, they've regrouped, they've looked at that video, they've got themselves a game plan, and it is working perfectly. And it's an ace serve from Neves. 16-7, sec second technical timeout. The USA leading two sets to nothing in this gold medal match. This is quite incredible. Another look at that serve. Straight over the blockers, right in between the two passes. China just don't know what to do at the moment. sure that we have ever seen China in this position before they're having to dig deep right now and this is an absolute must-win set for them currently down well, they've made a substitution so Su Limei has gone off and on has come number two Liu Hong for China as Neve serves again A bit of confusion between Kenahale and Webster as that ball was dug. So China have the side out, and it will be Zhang Lijun to serve. Pick up by Holloway, but it goes falls very kindly because it lands right where uh, Liu Hong was waiting. And she's able to block that down easily. That didn't even make it over the net in the end. Good pass by Zuma. Webster having to set, and that one is off the block. And the USA have their side out. Really good swing from Holloway, nice high hands, making sure the ball didn't go straight down on her own side. Kanahali to serve at 17-9. Lovely dig by Zumo. And the spike is good from Ericsson. 
And they are edging closer and closer to taking this third set and the match. China need to find something. Right about now would be good. Substitution then from China. Zhu Ji comes in and Cheng Yu Hong goes out. It was a substitution they made in the previous set. They're making another one here, but it doesn't seem that anything they're doing at the moment is working for China. All this serving pressure is working, but that's nice as that ball is uh, blocked back by China from the overpass. And so they take the point. Ericsson caught moving the wrong way. Point goes to China. This is now where the USA have to be careful themselves. They'll want to get off this rotation quickly and get back into their rhythm. That will help. This time Ericsson moving the right way. And then to serve from Yu Hongquin. Very nice play from the captain with a tip over the top. goes to serve it's a big lineup in the front row this for the USA Birkeland Webster and the captain Ericsson they'll look to try and shut China out here if they can that'll be a double touch against China great serving by Holloway putting them under pressure 20 to 11 here they've got to keep themselves focused on the game all the fans and the coaching staff and the subs will all be looking at the scoreboard but the players on court mustn't right now. They've got to stay in this zone. They are playing brilliantly. Kind of hardly unable to find the dig there. Great play from China. Well, that's the kind of plays that we are so used to seeing China make. Just haven't been available to them in this match so far. Zhang Xufei to serve. Oh, good save, and from Zumo. Ball still in play. Kenahali looking for an option again, finds Ericsson, but it's a great block from China. Wonderful rally. Something for China to cheer about. They haven't had many chances to do that. The USA, though, still seven points ahead. This is a decent little spell for China. Diggs. China just edging the US. Good up by Webster. Well, that looked like a double touch. Trying to get away with it. Kanali comes in. Webster tries to find the floor. Another chance for China. Desperately scrambling towards the ball but it's another good play from China I expect the USA will be calling timeout here as that one comes off of Ericsson's shoulder Sumo can't get to it he was lifting as she went and it is indeed timeout called by the USA six in front leading in this third set and by two sets to nothing is often a reflection of uh, his or her team. The USA are calm at the moment, so too Bill Hammett are just saying all we need now is a, a good pass, a good, a good set, we get our side out and we're back on track. That's what they'll be looking for. And they've done it. That was a little bit fortuitous as Webster went into the block and it popped up very nicely for Birkeland. But they have what they wanted, which was the side out. Birkeland putting the ball down. Say now four points away from a gold medal. Webster with the serve, just checking with the coach where she's to put the ball. Yeah. 
huge block. There was a little bit of a delay. They weren't sure whether it had come off of uh, a Chinese player, but the USA knew straight away that the ball had hit the floor despite the delay in the call from the referee. It's another point. Webster again having a little look, saying, yep, you're right, I'm going to put it exactly where you told me to once more. It's an illegal attack from China, the back row attack, which saw, I think it was Su Limei, in fact, uh, Leung, Liu Hong it was, who attacked the ball, but she was in the front row, and she's a back row player. China pull one point back. USA just two points away from taking this match. Well, it's a great serving run from Webster. She goes off to the bench now. Zumo is back in the libero. Webster will be hoping she doesn't have to come back out onto court. Juji to serve. Well left by China. And they've pulled another point back. Neves a little bit off the net. Didn't have a good angle to swing on the ball. A couple of side outs is all the USA need here. You say it's all they need. Would be easier said than done. Well, there's one. That is an absolute beauty of a cross court swing from the captain Heather Erickson. She has been magnificent with her attacking, and it's now gold medal point for the USA. Eight of them. Good up by Holloway. Another chance for China to stay in the match. Oh, and the point to China. Well, it popped up right on top of the net, and Neves was waiting and waiting and waiting. But she couldn't wait any longer, and as she's played it, she's played it on the side of China, so it's a saved match point. And it's an ace serve for China. Good time to get that. The USA still have a side out, a, a timeout available to them should they need it. And it's gone long. There are your gold medalists. The United States at last have victory over China. What an incredible match. Bill Hamilton with the fist pump, and quite rightly, he come out with a game plan for his team, and they have delivered brilliantly. 25-12, 25-12, 25-18. China are stunned. They have been beaten for the first time ever in a Paralympic Games. And it is the USA who have taken gold by three sets to nothing. China takes silver. A magnificent match here at Rio Centro 6. The USA will shake hands and then there'll be more celebrations to come. They got their tactics spot on. They were brilliant. The China can have no complaints either. They were outplayed in all departments. They were outserved, they were outblocked, they were outspiked and they were outdug. Really was. A tremendous display from the United States of America. Only their libero they brought on, no other substitutes. They started with a team and finished with a team. An incredible display. Well, it's good to see from China acknowledging the crowd. The USA fans delighted, the team delighted. No doubt there'll be a few tears, not only from the players, but from the spectators as well, and from friends and family watching at home. They were beaten in London by China, three sets to one. They were beaten by China here, three sets to two in the preliminaries. And they've come out here in the gold medal match.
And they have absolutely thumped China. Three sets to nothing to take the gold medal. An emphatic victory, really. This is how it was done. Zuma with the pass. The ball is put into play by Neves, and it's an unforced error by China. They took their hands out of the way. The tactic that they've been using throughout the game, not allowing China to get block out, and then everybody piling in to celebrate. Just magnificent. Court's being taken down because we'll have the victory ceremony coming up shortly. Confirmation of the score, the United States of America beating the People's Republic of China 25-12, 12, 12 